So I'm standing here in the mask of a crocodile, waiting to unveil my best Rolex artwork yet. How did it happen? Let me explain it. Since I remember, I always wanted to be an artist. A few days ago, I was chilling out and having my morning coffee, when suddenly, I got a phone call from a very important client. Salvatore, I need an artwork with a Platinum Rolex Daytona in two days. Price doesn't matter. Okay, I have to finish. Bye. This sounded like a huge challenge. And since I love challenges, I finished my coffee and decided to go straight to work. Every artwork starts with an idea. And in order to convert this idea to real life, I've started with sketching. I was sketching for many, many hours. But there was a small problem. None of my sketches were good enough to be an artwork. I needed an inspiration. Walking always brings me the best ideas, so I've decided to go for a walk and just let it go. I found some super cool graffiti and I've decided to use it. When I was coming back home, I found something even more interesting. A mask of a crocodile. I knew what I'm going to do. An artwork inspired by Croco Loco. There was no time to lose, so I started ordering a bunch of cool stuff I'm going to paint on. First, a huge badass canvas. Well, maybe not a canvas at all. A big piece of wood. Here's what I'll be using. Right hand, left hand, hooligan stuff, psst makers, richy rich blood and some more hooligan stuff, croco head, tubed croco, dating simplifier, bottled uranium, croco blood, art pills, pickle, pickle, acid rain, second dating tool, thief stuff, covid <laughs> reminder, finger remover, Ow. and... Rolex certificate. And now, let's get to work. Believe me or not, but instead of two days, it took me two weeks to paint the piece. But you know what? I couldn't care less, because the final result was, well, simply amazing. Enjoy. <laughs> 